All right, hello, folks, and welcome to a very highly requested Let's Play of Chrono Trigger. Now, unfortunately, this is the Steve version, and I hate this font. I was actually trying to get somebody to mod the font for me. He couldn't even figure it out. He's modded lots of games, so... And I am not much of a gamer. I don't know how to do all that stuff. I'm in my 40s, so... I'm sorry. Anyway. We will be doing a new game. Yay. Now, I before we get into this, um... Ah, uh, the music guy. Oh my gosh. His name escapes me. I'm gonna put his name on the screen. Um... He was the mastermind of this brilliant, outstanding soundtrack. And me as a musician, I love awesome soundtracks. I mean, this guy kicks some butt. Now, it has to be said, late in the production run, he got sick and he couldn't finish the, the soundtrack. So um, the Final Fantasy guru, Nobuo Uematsu, um, took a took uh, about 10 of the songs and finished them off. So if there's an Uematsu track on here, I will point it out. So let's get going. All right. Yeah, so yeah, we want, don't want high resolution. Yeah, let's, let's go. And the default name is Chrono. I know the last few uh, uh, RPGs I've done, F changed the name to fit Katie Tiger theme for Earthbound or um, Liverpool uh, theme for um, whatchamacallit, um, Final Fantasy IX, but we're not doing that this time around. We're going to, I may change the name here or there, but for the most part, I'm going to do the same. Keep, keep them as default as possible. I may change a few if I feel like it. This seems like a happening place. I'll tell you what, folks, I wouldn't mind living here. Got a castle in the background, you got some balloons and fireworks and Chrono Chrono By the way, Chrono doesn't talk in this game. Chrono, are you still sleeping? Yes, Mom, I am. Come on, sleepyhead, it's time to get up. Boom. Dear me, I forgot how beautiful Lean's bell sounds. You must have been so excited about the Millennial Fair that you couldn't sleep last night, could you? Well, you better not let that giddiness get it, get you into any trouble. I want you to behave yourself today. Come now, out of bed with you. All right. I'll go back to bed. Uh. Hold up, does he have a typewriter? And is that on the far right side something covering up a TV or something? He's got a book? Is that like a, 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 a jukebox or something? Oh no! More modern than I thought this place looked. Okay. It's about time! By the way, you're gonna go see... Oh dear, what's her name? That young adventurous friend of yours. Well, what do you think you are, a city from Final Fantasy X? Okay, sure, why not? I always rename her Nerdy instead of Luca because I like it better, but for the sake of the Let's Play, I'm just going to keep her as Luca. All right, that's right, Luca, you're going to stop by and see her new invention at the fair, aren't you? Sure, Mom. Whatever. Yeah, I'll be back before dinner. Don't forget to pet the cat. 
But mom, can I get some money to go to the fair with? Yes! Get 200 G. Nice. Thank you. All right. I'm going to explore all I can around here. Here's somebody else's house. It's hard to believe our kingdom has stood for a thousand years now. Our king is the 33rd descendant to the throne of Guardia. Okay, so we're in the kingdom of Guardia. Well, no, we're not LaGuardia uh, Airport, New York or something. It's a miracle he, he can manage to rule the kingdom when he can't even keep his own daughter in. Hand. Oh, that's a burn. She's probably throwing a fit at the castle this very moment, demanding you let her go to the fair. Yeah, probably. Don't think there's anything useful we can get here. Um, another residence, okay. That girl Luca was over in the square going on about how she made the discovery of a lifetime, okay. Yeah, she invents things, right? Yeah, something tells me I'm as happy now as I'll ever be. Yeah, got this happy music. It's very, uh, whatcha, whatchamacallit. Um, it's, uh, addicting. Let's go to the market. Okay, well, we'll go, go to Lean Square in a little while. Let's go to the inn, shall we? No, we don't need a lodge. We're fine. Thank you. You've been... No, haven't. Well, what are you doing here? You want to wait another thousand years? Better believe it. I just feel like talking to everybody. Well, welcome. Make yourself at home. Yeah, you're not going to stay long because there is a... Um... Oh, your shift's... You want... You're going to the fair too, huh? No, I'm a cheap bastard. Well, if you do give her $10, she's just going to play you a song that you're going to hear somewhere down the road anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Remember that earthquake we had the other day? No, I just turned the game on. You're an oblivious one, aren't you? Well, never mind then. Well, well, what about this earthquake? Refresh my memory. We've been having far too many lately. Hope it's not a sign of something bad about to happen. Hmm. Lots of earthquakes. That's no bueno, folks. What's this, like, pumpkin carving black box? They had it out for generations. She somehow managed to open it. You're welcome to the contents. A mysterious, invisible force. The black hole of Cygnus X1. <laughs> Sorry, my rush nerdism kicked in there. All right. Uh, we have the mayor's manor. So, by the way, we are in this area is known as Truce. Here's the mayor's manor of Truce. Hello, this is your first visit. Would you like to like me to tell you about this house? Okay. Our mayor has a soft spot for adventures. He has established this manor as a library of adventuring know-how. Okay, the contents of this house were placed by him for adventures to use. Feel free to take anything you'd like. Oh, that's a speedy kid doing here. Yeah, he can run by, hold down the B if you want to talk, or... Oh, yeah, switch and run. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, we're going to run. So this is kind of the tutorial hall. By the way, I'm going to take your potion. Yeah, so those sparkle things, like the triangular sparkle thing, or the diamond, rather. There's four little things. Yeah, that's a safe, safe point, so. You can save on the overworld map, I think. And uh, you can... Shelters. Uh, yes, I know about shelters. I will explain it as I go along, folks. Let's go upstairs. Don't mind if I do. Get an extra 100 G. We're up to 700. Maybe I haven't even fought any battles yet. They'll just tell you various tutorials about various things in the game. 
So you really don't need to talk to him. Just make sure you get your money and treasures and all that. We could go up to the castle if we wanted to. If you make make your way to the castle, they're just going to tell you to leave. So we're in the year 1000 AD. Okay. And we, we could go through Guardia Forest to go to the castle. And then we'd fight some monsters. I don't feel like doing that just yet. So now we're leaving Truce. Actually, this is uh, Lucas' house. I guess she's technically in Truce. Yeah, a lot of books everywhere. Can't really get anything in here. We can talk to one NPC. It's her mom, Laura. Now, she's off at Lean Square. The father, Taban, he was unveiling her brand new invention. Boy, I want to wrap some vanilla ice right now. But I'm not a rapper, folks. Y'all want to know who my favorite rapper is? It's Santa Claus. He wraps all my presents. Nah, no, rap is not my thing, folks. But I didn't know this till I did my test run this morning. I didn't know there was a balcony here. Interesting. Same in uh, Laura's room. I didn't know you can't get anything in these balconies, not to my knowledge. But anyways, oh, we didn't go to the main room. Oh, well, nothing here to report. So that's Lucas' house. And we don't have to engage this bridge, but I'm going to engage it anyway. I'm opening up a stall to the fairgrounds. Drop by if you get the chance. Try to see what this millennial fair fuss is all about. A fair! Okay, talk to all these NPCs. They're all excited about going to the fair. All right, fine and dandy. And here's to the other part, the southern continent here. We've got this big giant desert. South of this desert, we have the town of Poor. And they are anything but poor in this place. So they have to double the amount for rent. No, I mean, not for rent, but for the inn. Okay, let's go to the snail stop. A little pub. Some monsters can coexist with humans. Take that piano player, for instance. He won't charge us 10 gil like, um, like the junk girl. Four centuries ago, a woman named Fiona died trying to revive the great forest that once flourished to the north. Now it's a big, vast desert. Ah, so that's what happened. You know, I wouldn't mind some jerky. Can I have some? 9900! I could buy a car in 1989 for that. Everyone's off to that festival. Bunch of lazy sots. Whatever that means. Hey. Uh, let's hear something sad. All right. Yeah, this guy wrote a great soundtrack. But I'm sick of sadness. Play something upbeat. This is the first track that uh, you've heard so far that's written by Uematsu. You'll hear this uh, later in the game. Now back to, uh, I believe his name is Mitsuda. If I remember right, I posted it on screen earlier. But Oh yeah, we need to go to visit some more people. Okay, re residents. I want to go to the fair too. Gran and Gramps went to the fair in truce. We're keeping an eye on the house, so. Well, doing a good job of it. Here we are at the this mayor's manor. 
The children are slipping away from us. It's so painful to see. I hate my dad more than anyone in the whole wide world. Dad loves money more than he loves me. Ha 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 I run this town. I'm so rich, I don't know what to do with it all. I'll give you ten gill if you spit around three times and cluck like a chicken. Yes, I'm broke. That was great! Here's ten gill, don't spit it all in one place! <laughs> all right. There's two more of those pumpkin boxes. Pumpkin black box things. Yeah, I know we can't open it because of Cygnus Sex wand, something or whatever. Okay. Hey, Bobby says Daddy's greedy. That's not true, is it? Sorry to break it to you, little one. Yes! We get a shelter for our troubles. And that's all we can explore here for now. Let's go. Let's go. Go to the ferry here. I want to ride the ferry. Take the ferry every chance I get. One way tickets, ten G. Yeah, yeah. That that, that pompous ass just gave me ten dollars for spin around and clucking like a chicken. Yes, I will spend it all in one place. So, I'm not controlling this boat, by the way. There's more you can explore. You know, like most Final Fantasy games, you get an airship uh, later in the game. We'll be getting our own version of an airship later on. But, that's not too much of a spoiler, because, you know, that happens in these type games. But, it's not quite a full-fledged airship. So, anyway, here we are, a mysterious whirlpool sometimes appears near here. What do you suppose that can cause? I uh, don't know. If only my dear Fritz would return, I'd ask for nothing more. He left on a journey and he's not yet returned. The fare to poor is ten dollars. Nope. Just got back. Now that's, I believe that's everything we can do here. And uh, we will be visiting the Millennial Fair next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger.